Yeah, baby, this my thing. Rapping like I'm going for a belt in the ring. Okay. And I'm beating any beat DA can arrange. Many used to hate me, now they all look changed. Come on, left fly through. Come on. I'm looking good at red, but I'm not Pyro. Nope, looking Japanese when I'm mad. What's up, guys? Coach Joe here with uh, Smart Coaching. Just wanted to give you guys an update on uh, everything going on. Um, first and foremost, uh, I wanted to shoot you guys an update yesterday. Um, and the reason why I couldn't actually kind of inspired me for what I wanted to speak on today. So um, with Joe, we've talked a, a little bit about how the exercise really hasn't been as much of a factor as the eating. And one of the things you have to take into consideration is uh, a person's ability to rest directly, um, what's the word? A person's ability to, rec uh, to rest directly affects how they're going to be able to recover, obviously. But if they're not recovering, their body's not going to change. So if you are on your own fitness journey and you are just grinding it out day after day after day and, and you know you just keep adding workouts and adding workouts and your body's not changing, more than likely you suck at resting. And you've got to understand that you've got to have a level of homeostasis or your body just won't change. Uh, that's just the reality of the situation. So um, this kind of came to a head for me yesterday. Uh, I was on really, really low sleep. Um, you know, I get up at three 30 in the morning and, um, my, my, uh, dog had woken me up at two and you know, I was already up and, uh, yesterday was supposed to be leg day. And, um, as you guys may or may not know, and you guys will come to find out, I'm a big fan of leg day. I was, I was pumped and trying to get to it, man. And, uh, it just wasn't going to happen. And I knew that I couldn't perform to the best of my ability. So I knew that yesterday needed to be sort of a more low impact day. Um, but with that, with those recovery days, what you can miss is if you're on lower sleep, uh, one strategy that a lot of people miss when they're really pushing it hard is they don't add a little bit of carbohydrate to sort of bring down some of that stress hormone. And uh, I think that's a big mistake. Um, when you're stressed and you're trying to eat really strict and you're trying to work out really, really hard, um, it's just too much. The brakes are going to come off somewhere. And it makes more sense to sort of get in front of it and try to start to put your body in sort of that recovery mode. And believe it or not, carbohydrates do that. That's, that's part of their uh, function. So um, that all kind of came to a head for me yesterday. And today, I'm, I'm grateful I did it. I came in and just crushed my leg workout. Um, but as it pertains to Joe, it, it's an interesting note because with Joe, um, sometimes I come in to train him and, you know, he's on three hours of sleep and he's been, you know, at it all day, you know, late, late the night before and his kids woke him up. It's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta think, what can I get out of him that day to help him progress? And sometimes the best thing I can do is stretch him. Sometimes the best thing we can do is soft tissue work or, uh, light, you know, light exercise just to get his heart going and, and sort of get some blood flow and um, sort of put him on that recovery process. So um, just wanted to throw that out there, guys. Uh, I'll be meeting with Joe today. We'll get you guys uh, another video and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying everything. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, check out Smart Gaming as well. Uh, we'll be uploading some more there very shortly. All right, guys. Love, love, what your name is, I ain't saying a thing Nothing like a girl getting aggressive with the game Baby, do your thing like I'm thick eating egg weeds Ass sweet enough to give the room diabetes